Hey there, YouTubers. This is Luis from Onsite Towing and Recovery in Middletown, New York. So, here on the lift, um, we've got my 2005 BMW X3 with a 3.0 in it. Great, great SUV. It's great in the snow. But for the last year, year and a half, um, we're getting a funny vibration in the cab. And I just haven't taken the time to diagnose it. And now it's to the point where I don't even want to drive the car because it's just loud. The, the vibration is annoying, especially at highway speeds. And, you know, quite frankly, it's a German car. And you should be able to, you, you should want to drive it. So I said, you know what, I got a little bit of downtime today. We're going to diagnose this issue and we are going to fix it. So the symptoms that I'm getting is getting a vibration in, in the cab, meaning in the steering, uh, not in the steering wheel, but in the seat. Uh, a good indication where you can see where it's coming from is if you actually look at the passenger seat and the headrest is moving back and forth, you can, you can pretty much narrow it down that way to a driveline issue. Uh, another thing you can do is you can disable the D DSC system, which is the transfer case. And if it continues there, then you know you got a, a rear drive shaft issue. Uh, if, if you're suspecting the front drive shaft, you can disconnect the front drive shaft as well. Go down and see if it changes the, um, the uh, riding, uh, driving characteristics of the car. So anyway, so we, we lowered the exhaust here. Uh, fairly easy thing to do. And we started to inspect the drive shaft. Now, these German cars, uh, a lot of them run these flex discs here. Um, I think they got a specific name, a gibo or something is what these discs are called. And a lot of times they'll crack and you'll get a little bit of a vibration or you'll get a clunking in the drive line. This one looks to be good, but I'm pretty sure that the drive shaft I'm getting is coming with it. Um, so anyway, so but always inspect that drive shaft there. It is a piece of rubber, and over time, it just dry rots and cracks. Another problem with them is that center center bearing there, that carrier bearing there, tends to fail. And as you can see, it's encased in a rubber housing as well. And those do fail as well, and it will cause a vibration in the center of the vehicle. So always check that. You know, you can wiggle it back and forth. You can... Uh, you can pull the drive shaft out and spin it and see if you can hear any grinding in that bearing. That is a sealed bearing. The other issue with these is the U-joints. As you can see there, these are non-serviceable U-joints. There's no grease fittings on them. You can't press these in. You can't press them out. But the new ones do come with serviceable U-joints. But anyways, on this particular one, it's it, the rear U-joint is shot. And I'll show you here. Let me just... Get a better angle. So, you can see the amount of play that is in that U-joint. So that U-joint is done. You can see the clearance issue too here. There's really no clearance there. And you can see the clearance issue up here. So this thing is a complete failure. So, I ordered it from Napa, which isn't exactly the cheapest place to order it from. You can find this dry shaft on eBay or Rock Auto for about $350. Bucks. Uh, unfortunately, I don't want to wait a few days. I just want to get this done and over with. And um, it comes with the center bearing, um, the flex discs, and, and everything. And here's the front dry shaft, too that it's the same deal you know it's not a serviceable dry shaft no grease fittings and those do go bad as well um this is a common problem with all bmws all wheel drive and the rear wheel drive ones but i think you tend to have more issues with the xis and the x3s and the x5s um with this kind of uh problem fyi too if you're gonna go to the dealership this job can run you a couple thousand dollars. It's a fairly simple job. This is something you can do in your driveway. I highly recommend not going to the dealership unless you just feel more comfortable going to the dealership. But, you know, it's a, it's a fairly easy job. All right. 
And that's pretty much all I got for you guys. Uh, hit like and subscribe. I'm going to be doing more mechanical videos once I get some time to to actually film this stuff. And, um, and we're going to continue on with the towing videos as well. Alright, hit like and subscribe and thanks for watching.